Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing solving problems involving polynomial functions. So we have the following objectives in today's topic. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to letter A, evaluate polynomial functions, letter B, solve problems involving polynomial functions, and letter C, realize the importance of polynomial functions in solving real-life problems. So let's have our first example. Alfonso Cavite is one of the best producers of tableya in the province of Cavite. Tableya is described as roasted, ground, and molded nibs of fermented pure cacao beans which is also called chocolate tablet. Mangboy, a tableya manufacturer, determines that its profit P in thousands of pesos per month can be molded by the polynomial function P of x is equal to 0.00005x to the third power plus x minus 1, where x represents the number of boxes of tablea sold. Using the given polynomial function, let's try to answer the following. Letter A, what is the profit of Mang Boy if he sold 50 boxes? Letter B, how many boxes did he sell if he earned a profit of 149,000 pesos? So let's solve for the first question. Letter A, what is the profit of Mang Boy if he sold 50 boxes? So let's have first the given. So we have profit P, which is equal to in thousands of pesos per month, and it can be modeled by the polynomial function which is p of x is equal to 0.00005x to the third power plus x minus 1, wherein x represents the number of boxes of tablea sold. So let's have the solution. So we will evaluate the polynomial function, wherein we have p of 50, which is 50 is equal to the number of boxes of tablea sold. So Let's have the equation, which is P of x is equal to 0.00005x to the third power plus x minus 1. Then all we need to do is to substitute the value of x, which is equal to 50. So we have P of 50 equals 0.00005 times 50 to the third power plus 50 minus 1. And then we will simplify. So we have P of 50 is equal to 0.00005 times 50 to the third power. So we will multiply 53 times by itself. So we have 50 times 50 times 50, which is equal to 125,000 plus 50 minus 1. And then after that, we will bring down P of 50 equals 0.00005 times 125,000 is equal to 6.25 and then bring down plus 50 and also bring down negative 1 and then after that we will simplify so we have p of 50 is equal to 6.25 plus 50 minus 1 will be equal to 55.25 and then after that to get the profit we will multiply 55.25 by 1,000 because the profit is equal to thousands of pesos per month. So we will multiply the value of P of 50 which is equal to 55.25 by 1,000 and multiplying those two numbers so the profit will be equal to 55,250 pesos. So the profit of Mang Boy, if he sold 50 boxes, is equal to 55,250 pesos. So let's have the second question, which is how many boxes did he sell 
if he earned a profit of 149,000 pesos. So remember, profit P is equal to 1,000 of pesos per month. So it can be modeled by polynomial function which is given in our problem which is p of x is equal to 0.00005x to the third power plus x minus 1 wherein x represents the number of boxes of tablet as sold. So let's have the solution. So we have the formula p of x is equal to 0.00005x to the third power plus x minus 1. So we will substitute the value of p of x, which is the profit of Mang Boy, which is 149,000 pesos. But remember, the profit p is in thousands of pesos per month. So we will divide 149,000 pesos by 1,000, which is equal to 149. And that will be the value of p of x. So p of x will be 149 equals 0 0.00005 x to the third power plus x minus 1. So we will simplify. We will transpose 149 and it will become negative 149. Then we will bring down 0 0.00005 x to the third power, bring down positive x, and bring down minus 1. And then we will equate it by 0. And then after that, Simplify again, so we bring down 0 equals 0.00005x to the third power plus x and then negative 1 minus 149 is equal to negative 150. And then after that, we will simplify. So 0 is equal to 0 0.00005 and then again we will simplify. So we have 0 is equal to 0 0.00005 times the quantity of x to the third power plus 20,000 x minus 3 million. So we just get the common monomial factor of the polynomial equation which is 0 0.00005. And then we just divide both sides by 0 0.0005 and then the answer is 0 is equal to x to the third power plus 20,000 x minus 3 million. And then after that, we will get the factor. So the factor of the equation x cubed plus 20,000 x minus 3 million is 0 is equal to quantity x minus 100 times the quantity of x squared plus 100 x minus 30,000. And then after that, we will solve for x. So we will get x minus 100 and we will equate it by 0. So transpose negative 100, it will be positive 100. So the value of x will be equal to 100. So since the value of the roots of x squared plus 100 x minus 30,000 are not real numbers, therefore, we have only one value of x, which is x is equal to 100. So Mang Boy sold 100 boxes to earn a profit of 149,000 pesos. So let's have our second example. The demographer in Bayan de Pedro predicts that the population P of the town T years from now can be modeled by the function P of T is equal to 6T to the 4th power minus 5T to the 3rd power plus 200T plus 12,000. So the first question, what will be the population of the town 5 years from now? So let's have the solution. So the first thing we need to do is to list the given. So we have t is equal to 5, which is equal to 5 years from now. And then after that, we have the given polynomial equation, which is equal to p of t is equal to 6t to the 4th power minus 5t to the 3rd power plus 200t plus 12,000. So all we need to do is to substitute or evaluate the function by substituting the value of t, which is equal to 5. So we have p of 5 is equal to 6 times the value of t which is equal to 5 raised to the fourth power minus 5 times the value of t which is equal to 5 raised to the third power plus 200 times the value of t which is equal to 5 plus 12,000. And then after that we will simplify. Bring down p of t equals, so exponent first, 5 
to the fourth power, meaning to say we will multiply 5 4 times by itself. So we have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, which is equal to 625 times 6 minus, bring down 5, 5 to the third power, meaning to say we will multiply 5 3 times by itself. So we have 5 times 5 times 5, which is equal to 125 plus 200 times 5 is equal to 1,000, then bring down plus 12,000. And then we will bring down P of 5 equals 6 times 625 is equal to 3,750. And then negative 5 times 125 is negative 625. Bring down plus 1,000 and bring down plus 12,000. And then after that, we will add all these numbers. So we have P of 5 equals 3,750 minus 625 plus 1,000 plus 12,000 is equal to 16,125. So the population of town five years from now is equal to 16,125. So let's have the next question using the same problem. In how many years will be the population of the town be equal to 936,000? So let's have the solution. So we have P of 20, which is equal to 936,000. So we will use the polynomial function, which is P of t is equal to 6t to the 4th power minus 5t to the 3rd power plus 200t plus 12,000. And then after that, we will substitute the value of P of t, which is equal to P of 20 and which is equal to 936,000. So we have 936,000 is equal to 6t to the 4th power minus 5t to the 3rd power plus 200t plus 12,000. And then after that, we will transpose 936,000. It will become negative 936,000. Then we will equate it by 0. And then we will bring down 6t to the 4th power minus 5t to the 3rd power plus 200t and then we will add 12,000 minus 936,000 which is equal to 92,400 and then equal 0. And then after that, we will get the factors of 6t to the 4th power minus 5t to the 3rd power plus 200t minus 924,000. So to get the factors, you can use the rational root theorem wherein you will get the possible roots of the equation wherein I will not be discussing this one to you because we have already discussed it on our previous lesson. So the factors of the polynomial equation is t minus 20 times the quantity of 6t to the third power plus 115t to the second power plus 23,000t plus 46,200 is equal to zero. And then after that, we will equate t minus 20 by 0. And then we will transpose negative 20 so it will become positive. So the value of t is equal to 20. Therefore, the population of the town will be 936,020 years from now.